Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at these examples. We're given two sets of lines, each going through two points. And we're supposed to determine if the two lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Well, let's give it a try. So here we have, well, I'm missing an S here, passes through. All right, our line A passes through points negative one and three, four and one. Line B passes through points negative 2, negative 1, and 3, negative 3. So what we should do first is find the slopes of each. So we can say that the slope of A, which is equal to the difference between the two Y values, divided by the difference between the two X values. Now notice it doesn't matter which one we call point 1 or which one we call point 2. So here we have the Y value of the second point, and there we have the Y value of the first point, or we can turn it around, doesn't matter, but let's stay consistent. So that means we have 1 minus 3 for the difference between the y values and 4 minus and minus 1 for the difference in the x values, x2 and x1. So this becomes 1 minus 3, which is minus 2, and 4 minus and minus 1, which is 5. So the slope is negative 2 fifths for the line A. Now let's try line B. So the slope for line B, again, it's a difference between the two y values divided by the difference between the two x values. So let's call this y2 and let's call this y1. So minus 3 minus a minus 1 and the x values 3 minus a minus 2. 3 minus a minus 2. So this becomes negative times a negative is a positive. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2 and 3 minus a minus 2 is 3 plus 2 or a 5. Notice the two slopes are equal to each other, so therefore we can say that slope A must equal slope B, and therefore they are parallel. So we can say that A is parallel to B, so maybe we can just write it like that. A is parallel to line B. All right, let's try these two. Notice again we have X and Y1, X2 and Y2, X1, Y1, X2, Y2, so we're going to take the difference between these slope c is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So let's call this y2, let's call this y1, so we end up with 5 minus 0 divided by negative 4 minus 0. So this becomes 5 divided by negative 4. All right, let's do the same for the second line, line d. So the slope for line d is equal to uh, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So let's call this y2, let's call this y1, so we end up with 7 minus 0 divided by y1, uh, x1, minus, x2 minus x1, so this becomes negative 10 minus 0, so this is 7 divided by negative 10. Notice the slopes are definitely not equal, but is one the negative inverse of the other? Well, let's find out. Let's see if mc multiplied times md, let's see that's equal to negative 1. So we have 5 divided by negative 4 multiplied times 7 divided by negative 10. So this becomes uh, negative, because we have a negative here, 35 divided by 40. Well, that's not negative 1, and therefore they're neither equal or one is not the, inver the negative inverse of the other. And therefore, we can say that those lines are neither parallel nor perpendicular to one another. And that is how it's done.